Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Sider, and we're here with an overview of all the animals from the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. And as you can tell, the first animal we're going to look at is the proboscis monkey. And uh, to my surprise, they are actually really good swimmers. I had to close this off. This is my safari boat ride series and I removed some animals and replaced them. Obviously just temporarily for this overview, but uh, <laughs> they were escaping everywhere. So I had to put down a lot of glass walls everywhere. But let's have a look at this monkey because this monkey is, uh, <laughs> is definitely a thing. This is the female proboscis monkey and the one with the big nose is the male proboscis monkey and i actually find them a little bit scary i don't know why uh they um i don't know i don't know i i don't find them very pretty <laughs> i um no it's it's definitely not going to be my favorite animal it's a fascinating animal that is for sure but uh, no it, it's uh... <laughs> It's definitely a thing. I'm not sure. I really am curious what you guys think of this monkey. Uh, there's a baby behind it. Let's have a look at the baby. But yeah, they're very good swimmers, which is actually quite surprising because I did put them down right over here thinking because we had the capuchin monkey here first and they are not able to swim. I think no other primate or monkey is able to swim in the game. Uh, but these guys are good swimmers. So yeah, that's a good surprise and definitely good to know if you are going to uh, build a habitat for these guys. Do not do what I am doing right over here. So let's have a look at the Zoopedia right over here. So we have the proboscis monkey. It's an endangered species. And if we go to natural habitat, they're from Borneo, the Asian continent, aquatic and tropical biomes, land requirements 400 and climbing 30. They don't really need water requirements, but yeah, as i as shown, they are good swimmers. <laughs> so keep that in mind. And uh, also the species data, so three to 19 in group size, and uh, they mostly get one baby, so that is also good to know when you're going to breed with them. And when you go to the research status, you obviously have some uh, fun facts right over here. And you can combine them with the Indian elephant and the Malaysian tapir. So that is definitely a good thing to know as well. Uh, so yeah, proboscis monkey, as I said, not my favorite animal. <laughs> I don't know. They're just, um, they're just definitely a thing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the proboscis monkey coming to these... Oh, what? Where did you go? <laughs> did it just jump into the water? Okay, that was really insane. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the proboscis monkey. Next up is the clouded leopard. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite animals of the pack. If it's a cat, I love it. And, uh... <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> So uh, these guys are definitely super pretty, but I didn't expect anything else from them. Uh, like the jaguars, they are absolutely amazing. And they just look absolutely beautiful. There are some things with the animations. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> if they're sometimes going into slow mode and stuff, but I already uh, mentioned this to Frontier. So hopefully uh, they will be able to fix that really soon. And right over here, we have a bunch of little cubs. They are so freaking adorable. They're really, really cute. But as I said, like, what else do we expect? The, the cats are definitely super beautiful in this game. So I really have no complaints about the cats at all. They're just super cute. And uh, <laughs> I just really love it that they're added in this Southeast Asia animal pack. So let's have a look at their stats right over here in the Zoopedia. So we have the clouded leopard right over here, which is vulnerable. And if we go to their natural habitat, they're from Malaysia, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos, Myanmar, China, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, India, and uh, they have tropical and temperate biome, land requirement 534, and 81 climbing requirement, definitely good thing to mention, because uh, yeah, that's quite a lot, I don't think we meet those requirements right over here in this habitat, also no water or deep water requirement. And then we go to the species data, one to two animals, well we have way more in this habitat obviously, 
and uh, two and a half years they become an adult and they get an offspring of one to five cubs most of the time. Research that is of course some fun facts you can read upon to and interspecies enrichment with no other animal but I'm not really surprised about that. I don't think we have any cat in the game that have an interspecies bonus at this point. <laughs> but yes the clouded leopard coming to you with the Southeast Asia animal pack. Do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the clouded leopard so now we come at the binturong and the binturong we can say a lot of things about but uh <laughs> let's just make it clear frontier has heard the uh the issues with the animal and uh, people that find it not looking as much as the in real life animal so they heard you and they're going to look into the Binturong, but as of right now, it will not be updated yet. This is the Binturong you can get right now in the pack. In all honesty, in my opinion, it looks fine. I think only the ears are a little bit off. Uh, well, the, <laughs> the tufts should be a little bit more, I don't know, fluffy. It really looks like two different ears behind each other or something like that. So do hope that the ears will be changed changed other than that i did not know the animal before i before it was announced by frontier i think it looks absolutely beautiful and super cute but i can also see why people find it not so much looking as the in real life animal because they're more like hanging hair shaggy hair and they, <laughs> they maybe don't look that pretty and not that chunky but there is also a mixture about that like some people say like in the wild they're absolutely more thin, but if you see them in captivity, you will notice that they are more chunky like this. So yeah, there is a lot to say about the Binturong at this point, I guess. But whatever you say, these little ones look absolutely adorable. I, <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, but they are just super, super cute. And I, I just really uh, fell, fell in love with these guys. But yeah, so who knows, in the future... <laughs> There might be some changes with the uh, Binturong, but this is how they are now in the pack. Let's have a look at the Zoopedia real quick. So we have the Binturong right over here, which is as classified as vulnerable. And their natural habitat, the Philippines, Bhutan, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, Singapore, Laos, Vietnam, Myanmar, Cambodia, Bangladesh, China, India, and Nepal, tropical and temperate biome. And they need 182 land requirement and 40 in climbing. Also, no water requirements at this point. If we go to the species data, two to five animals in one habitat. And they uh, become an adult at 1.5 years. And the number of the amount of offspring is one, two, three. And then we go to the research status. You have some fun facts, obviously, again, right over here. And they have an interspecies bonus with the Malaysian tapir and the sun bear. So yeah, I actually don't really dare to ask, but do let me know in the comments down below if you still feel the same way. Like we have seen a picture only at this point. So do you still feel the same way about the Binturong right now? Uh, don't be too harsh, okay? Frontier knows the issues and uh, <laughs> they are on it, guys. They are on it, guys. So yesterday evening, pretty late, Frontier announced that they already updated the Binturong. Unfortunately, this one is not yet in the build, so I don't have that footage up for you guys yet. But I will definitely uh, do an update video this afternoon with the new Binturong as well. So stay tuned for that. But you can definitely tell that the hair tufts are looking so much better already. And it also looks like it has smaller pupils and a better face shape in comparison to the real life one and the one in Planet Zoo. And it also looks a little bit less round and fluffy. So I think they definitely did a really great job to get this Binturong even closer to the in real life one. Uh, so yeah, I will definitely uh, post another video today with the uh, moving in action Binturong. But just so you guys know, this was just not available for me yet during this video. But definitely an improvement with the Binturong. And this one will be available for every one of you guys that are going to get the pack today. Next up is the Babi Rusa. Now I'm not entirely sure which one is the prettiest, the proboscis monkey or the Babi Rusa. <laughs> you guys decide. 
But honestly, uh, there are people that really, really love this animal. I'm not really sure. I find it very hilarious how it looks and uh, it is really well made. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. This is the male one, by the way. You can tell uh, by these things on their head. So we have a female Babi Rusa right over here and a little piglet uh, right here in the back. <laughs> so the females go without those uh, things on their forehead. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the name is again, but you guys can all tell me in the comments down below. I'm pretty sure of that. But yeah, I think it's really well made and the piglets are just super adorable as well. I think I think I love the, the, the small ones the most in this case. <laughs> they're really, really adorable and I think really well made, even though I'm not really sure how the in real life one looks exactly, but I think uh, I think it looks really cute to be honest. So let's have a look at the Zoopedia real quick. Uh, so we have the Babi Rooster right over here, which is a vulnerable. And their natural habitat is Indonesia, 290 land requirement. They don't need any climbing or water or whatever. But they are also very good swimmers. And if we go to species data, we have one to five Babi Rusas in one habitat. And they become an adult at two years old. They get one to two piglets per time. And if you go to research status, you can read all the facts again. And they do not have any interspecies bonus with any other species in this case. So yeah, as you can tell, they're quite good swimmers. So also keep that in mind. If you're going to build a habitat for them, uh, they will be escaping most likely. <laughs> so keep that in mind. But yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the Babi Rusa coming to the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. So the next animal is the doll. I know a lot of people are very excited about this animal <laughs> going to Planet Zoo. We also have some puppies. In this case, I replaced the uh, dingo habitat with uh, the doll for this video. <laughs> Uh, we have a lot of dolls in this habitat, to be honest. I think they uh, they look really beautiful. And especially the puppies, they're just super cute. Wait, you're not a puppy. Where are the puppies? <laughs> Here are the puppies. No, I think the, the puppies look absolutely adorable. And I think uh, we couldn't expect anything else <laughs> from the dolls. I think they're absolutely amazing. Really cool, beautiful animals coming to Planet Zoo. Let's have a look at the Zoopedia. So we have the Yuzuri doll, which is an endangered species. And we go to natural habitat. They're from China, India, Malaysia, Thailand, Mongolia, Russia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal. And their biomes are tropical grassland, taiga, and temperate. And they need quite a lot of space, 1162, but they do not need any of the other requirements in this case. And we have a group size of 2 to 25, and they become an adult around 2 years old. And when we go to the uh, research status, you have some more fun facts, obviously, and there is no interspecies bonus. So the doll coming to Planet Zoo, I have never heard of this animal before it was announced at Boy Frontier. So I'm really excited to see this animal finally in action. And as I said, like the, the puppies are just super adorable. So yeah. I'm just really excited about this one. Do let me know if you guys uh, are as well about the doll being in the Southeast Asia animal pack. So now we're at the giant Malaysian leaf insect. And uh, well, it, it it looks exactly how you would see it in real life uh, on a leaf. Uh, just sitting still, hoping that no one is able to see it or eat it. <laughs> But um, yeah, you can tell it is a little bit moving, but it's not swaying in the wind, unfortunately. Uh, but they're actually really cool. If I'm correct, I actually did not pay attention to it. There are males and females in the game, so you can add males and females in. But if I'm correct, only the females will be able to uh, reproduce because they don't really need males for that. But we do have tons of them in this exhibit right over here. We have one right over here. There's one right over there. I got a lot of babies already. There are tons over here as well. One, two, three, four. Uh, but they're, they look really, really cool. Unfortunately, it's still the exhibits. It's not like super exciting, even though this is definitely one of my favorite 
insects of the game right now but yeah other than that they just don't do that much which is super unfortunate i would love to see some swaying in the wind on their spot or anything like that that would be just super cool so let's have a look at the zoopedia right over here so we have the giant malaysian leaf insect right over here the natural habitat they come from west malaysia and they need a tropical biome well the temperature and humidity is obviously uh for the exhibit and then one to eight in one habitat and they become mature in eight months but that doesn't really count in the game as well unfortunately in the game <laughs> and you of course have some more fun facts right over here of the giant malaysian leaf insect and then we're at the malaysian tapir now for those of you that do watch my channel already know that i really love the beard's tapir so i'm really excited to see the malaysian tapir also being added into the game, I do have to admit as few people uh, pointed out that there should be some differences with the beard's tapir and the Malaysian tapir with the ears and the snout etc. Uh, I did put them next to each other but the only thing I can really tell that feels different to me are the eyes. I don't really think that any of the ears or the snout or anything else is different apart of course from the, the skin pattern color. Uh, so yeah, for those who are wondering, uh, there are not really that many uh, differences uh, with the beard tapir. Besides that, I still love the Malaysian tapir. I think it absolutely is adorable. But of course, the little calf is also very, very adorable. It's just uh, super cute to look at. I'm really uh, excited to see the Malaysian tapir being added in to planet zoo as well so let's have a look at the zoopedia right over here uh, so we have the malaysian tapir their natural habitat they're from malaysia indonesia and thailand aquatic tropical and temperate biomes 430 land requirement and 37 water requirement so this is basically i think the only animal that really needs a water requirement but it's not really surprising since we already have the beard's tapir species data one to two in one habitat and they become an adult at three years old and their research you also have some fun facts of course and then you have an interspecies bonus with the binturong bornean orangutan indian elephant and the proboscis monkey which is actually very interesting i do really like like that so yeah do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the malaysian tapir last but not least is of course the sun bear i know many of you were very excited for the sun bear to be added in planet zoo i think it absolutely looks fantastic their claws look really really scary to be completely honest unfortunately we just missed one bear climbing in a tree they also obviously do climb in planet zoo uh let's have <laughs> can you stop rotating please oh my oh my let's have a look at this little guy right over here or little girl i'm not really sure hello you two <laughs> uh they're both right over here they're really cute look how it walks it's so funny <laughs> it's definitely having a hard time with the nails i guess oh wait is that not oh no wait we have two adults and two little cubs right over here they're just super cute so let's have a look at the zoopedia right over here the sun bear classified as vulnerable we go to their natural habitat is from malaysia indonesia brunei thailand cambodia vietnam myanmar laos bangladesh and india and its biomes are tropical temperate and grassland and it needs 920 land requirement, 56 climbing requirement, and uh, uh, no water or deep water requirement. And if we go to the species data, you have one to two in one habitat, and they become an adult at around four years old. And if we go to research status you can read some more fun facts of course of these animals and you can combine it with the binturong which is actually quite interesting i actually didn't expect these two uh to get along well so that is really interesting to know so we're actually able to see some climbing animations right over here with the sun bear which look actually really cool so far I don't really think that this is a really placed down uh best for these animals this was originally my okapi habitat <laughs> Uh, but the climbing looks absolutely amazing. So the pack also comes with two new enrichment items. One is the foraging wall, which is this one, which can only be used by the sun bear. 
And right over here we have <laughs> this uh, cute little sun bear climbing into the hammock, which is actually <laughs> quite funny. <laughs> oh my god, that is really adorable. Oh my gosh, that is just super adorable. I love that animation. That was just super cute. <laughs> now it's gonna sleep, probably? Oh wow. So yeah, these two are also coming with the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. What are you gonna do? <laughs> it looks so cute. Because it's so wobbly, I guess. It look, just looks really cute. And now it's gonna climb down, probably. I don't think the little cubs are able to climb out or anything. Oh, well, that was really adorable. Now I'm only curious to see the uh, foraging wall in action. So the hammock is also being used by the clouded leopard. And that is what we're going to see right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> is it gonna lay down? Be a cat, lay down. Do it. Go on, lay down. Yes. There you go, kitty. There you go. You got your own hammock. <laughs> that is really cool. I would like that. I do hope that this hammock will be updated for more animals in the future as well. I think that will be very cool. Are you going to jump out? Of course you are. Yay! <laughs> well done. Well done. All right. There we go. It's being filled right now. You can actually see the food sticking out out of every hole. So now we want to see those animations of you using that thing. <laughs> Wait, was that it? <laughs> Why did I expect something more exciting? I'm sorry. I just really thought it would be climbing up or anything like that. But well, looking at the amount of food, it's empty, so I guess, <laughs> I guess that was it. <laughs> okay, I, I honestly did hope that there would be a little bit more coming with the forging wall. But who knows, maybe there are more animations that we haven't seen yet. So my overall opinion about the pack, it's a nice pack. It's not making me so excited as the previous packs. I still wish it would have been an aquarium pack or an aviaries pack. But yeah, obviously, do you need to get this pack? That is obviously up to you. Do you like these animals? Then yes, go and get this pack. If you don't like these animals, maybe you want to wait for a sale to get this pack. Like, obviously, that is all up to you. And I'm not the one going to decide that for you. <laughs> but yeah. So these were all the animals of the Southeast Asia Animal Pack, including two new enrichment items, the hammock and the foraging wall. Do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of all the animals coming to you with this Southeast Asia Animal Pack. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content, I definitely have you covered on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.